Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 22nd of 2020, well, it is titled Central Centaurus A. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of the inner portion of, a, of an active galaxy, the galaxy known as Centaurus A, which is the closest active galaxy to the Earth. And this is only about 11 million light years away, which is extremely close. Many active galaxies are much further, further away. Now, an active galaxy differs from an ordinary galaxy in a couple of ways. In one case, the galaxy, the active galaxy, is going to be much brighter, giving off more energy than an ordinary galaxy. And in addition, it is going to be giving off a different type of energy, uh, meaning that most galaxies give off light that looks like the combination of a bunch of stars. So it's similar to starlight. An active galaxy gives off far more energy at the extremes of the spectrum, so more x-rays and more radio waves. So it has a different type of spectrum that we see than an ordinary galaxy. Now, galaxies, uh, active galaxies can be caused by a number of things, and this one we think is caused by a collision of two otherwise normal galaxies. And in fact, if we go back to July of 2018, July 12th of 2018, we had a wider field view of Centaurus A. And if you go back to that image, you can take a look at a wide field view of this. And what you see is an outer region looks like a more normal elliptical galaxy with its yellowish red bulge of stars. Uh, around that, and right through the middle of it looks like a spiral galaxy as seen edge on with the dark dust lanes. Now, elliptical galaxies don't have dust lanes, so we know it's not just a plain elliptical galaxy, and spiral galaxies usually do not have that great big bulge of stars at this quite this size. So it looks like two stars, or two, two galaxies, that are merging together. And when we look here at the inner portions, uh, today, we can see many of the dark dust lanes scattered around here, and we can also see some star clusters, blue stars scattered as well around towards the edges here. And in addition, we can see a number of red hydrogen regions. All those are associated with enhanced star formation, meaning that stars have formed and they form uh, primarily because of the collision. So when these two galaxies collide, it compresses many of the dust and gas clouds within the spiral galaxy that is colliding and causes the star formation to occur at an enhanced rate. So we're getting a lot more star formation, a lot more of these bigger star clusters and large hydrogen regions that we see here than we would see in just a spiral galaxy by itself. And in addition, we do see a couple of foreground stars, stars within our own Milky Way, that just happen to be in the same direction as this active galaxy. And one of the ways we learn even more about galaxies and other objects like this is to look at them across the electromagnetic spectrum. So if we go back to an even older photo of the day from January the 10th of 2008, we can see different images of this active galaxy. There's a composite image, which is the uh, larger one, but off to the right-hand side, we also see it in X-rays and radio waves, where it is giving off a lot of those types of energy, and in addition to the optical image, which we're looking at a close-up of today. So being able to study this, we can see when we do the composite image that it's quite different than the ordinary image that we're looking at right now, which is just composed of the visible light. So being able to learn about that has told us a lot more. And in fact, when we look at the composite image, we can see that there is something going down down at the core and jets of material being spewed out. 
which leads us to the idea that there is a supermassive black hole at the center, as there appears to be at most galaxies, and in this case, something that is you know, a billion times the mass of our own sun. And as material spirals into that, the intense energy created will, will push out these two jets that we see in the X-ray and the radio. So being able to look at images like the one we're looking at today across the electromagnetic spectrum gives us a much more complete picture of what is going on here. So that was our picture of the day for February the 22nd of 2020. It was titled Central Centaurus A. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Simulated Universe. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then... Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.